My fellow Americans, James Ryan Hendrick. Good afternoon, my fellow Americans. Today I will make a, a brief press bulletin that you can release. Today we had our finance meeting and I think that all of us in uh, the Small Business Administration have reached a compromise that even the Entrepreneurial Affairs Administration can agree on. We've agreed that uh, access to education funding is absolutely essential. Uh, regardless of what generation you come from. Do that in. That is part of Clinton's goals, even in small business. Now, sustainability. This is the compromise. I have agreed to scale back some of my goals, sustainability, and small business. Now, there's no doubt Congress is in session. And the issue is whether or not Congress will pass sustainability for small business. There is rumor going around that they're thinking about tacking on uh, welfare reform and uh, tacking the sustainability onto that. If that happens, it could pass the House. But sadly, it will fail the Senate, and President Clinton would kill it anyway. But if you have it separate, separated, you have a chance to pass. Now, one thing that Congress has agreed to separate as far as the sustainability platform that I hold is the Small Business Lending Enhancement Act. That is something that I uh, strongly agree with. And I think, I think that is something that we need so that we can learn, grow, and change. We are in a new economy. We are in the information age. And so we must change and evolve just as much as, as any other industrialized country in America. Because we're in the information age, we should have information age economy and ideas. One of the things we're going to set on is, uh, of course, distance learning. I have been working with different analysts and executives under the Small Business Administration to figure out how to get the access to education passed through Congress. Now, I have some questions. No doubt. David Gordon asks from the Society page why I'm going on vacation again so soon. To be honest with you, I think I need it. I think this country is dragging and torn by all this partisan politics and we need to fix it regardless we have a chance to do that I'm leaving in the morning for Richmond Virginia my people know what to do and I ask you to please stay strong and know that I will come and report to you whenever I can Here's another question. Uh, Adam Healthbein from CBMC. He has asked me this. You support access to education, and that's understandable. understandable. But sustainable small business measures. Could you please clarify? On the fall platform, what I want is block grants, matching grants between the state and federal governments toward the poor to open up the small business. In the spring, I'm going to be campaigning for 
faith-based initiatives. That's what I'm going for. And that's what I stand for. I answer one more question from Jacob Carrill, from Jake, Jacob Carroll from the uh, Blake Carter Show. Which, by the way, Blake is, is, is on break. Staying with a friend of his out in Chesapeake. But he asks me this. It's understandable that you favor access to education and that you favor sustainability for small business. Do you think the war in Bosnia impacts our economy? I refuse to comment on that one. Now, if y'all excuse me, I got to get back to work for the American people. Thank you.